Hi, this is Chris. Today I will show you how you can get started with the Internet of Things and I will do it using the open source hardware platform Arduino. I will use an Arduino June but the setup I will show you works with all the original Arduino boards and most of the compatible versions by other suppliers. The only thing you really need to perform the lab that I will show you in this video is an Arduino board. Even the most basic board, the Arduino Uno, will do, as it has an onboard LED. But it, I will use the Arduino June, as it has a lot more potential that I will dig into more in upcoming vi videos. But if you want to get started with some hardware, you also need a breadboard, which is where you connect the different components, an LED, I will use a red one, a resistor, and I will use one with the 220 ohms resistance and two jumper wires. The first thing you need to do is set up your Arduino board. And the procedure is a bit different for each board, so please check out the Arduino website for details on how to set up your board. The first step to set up an Arduino UNE board is to connect the power source to the micro USB port and then connect your computer to the wireless network created by the board and it's named something that begins with Arduino June. Then browse to the IP address you see here, log in with the password Arduino which is the default, you can change it later and then choose configure and set up the wireless network which is usually your local router. Finally when the board restarts connect the computer to the same wireless network and the board is set up. The next thing to do is to set up your development environment and you start by downloading it from the Arduino website and then follow the instructions. For Arduino June you should use a later version of the IDE and when you start it you choose tools and board and then select the board that you have and then you choose tools and port and if you have the June it should show up with its IP address and if it doesn't I restarted the development environment and then it was showing up. Now it's time for you to run your first program or sketch as it's called in the Arduino world and for that you choose file examples basics and blink. The code declares a constant on the first line uh, for the 13th pin and on startup in the setup function that pin is initialized for output on line 5 so that we can set its state. On each eternal iteration which is in the loop function we first turn on the LED on line 10, wait a second on line 11 then turn off the LED on line 12 and wait another second on line 13. This means that the LED will blink each two seconds and to run the program we first click the verify button which is the one with the checkbox followed by the upload button which is the one with the arrow. The first time you upload to an Arduino June you have to provide the password. After some time, a small LED on the Arduino board should start flashing. To make this more of a things example, here's how you can also make an external LED blink. First, you should dis disconnect the Arduino board from its power source to make sure that you don't break anything while doing the connections. And then connect the jumper wire from the ground to the minus column and pin 13 to the hole 1A on the breadboard. Also connect the resistor to minus and 2C and the LED to 1E and 2E. And on the LED the long part, which is the positive part or anode, should be in 1E and the short part, which is the negative uh, or cathode, should be in 2E. And then finally reconnect the power, wait a while and then the LED on the breadboard should start blinking as well. So there you have a first example how you can get started with the Internet of Things. And with that I wish you the best of luck 
in creating great Internet of Things projects. Thank you.